Hello friends, it's Miss Jones. You are looking at a bunch of flowers that I collected from the school garden this afternoon. And I washed them really good and I'm about to press them. So I wanted to show you that process. Um, we have here all of the different violets that we're growing. Up here, this is an nasturtium that I took apart. And down here, these are actually all marigolds that I took apart and two different types. That's why the petals are different sizes. Um, so a lot of you guys know that we have one whole garden bed that's just dedicated to edible flowers. So all of these flowers are flowers that we can eat. Um, and that's important to know um, because we're growing them for the purpose of eating. Uh, we can put them into drinks, we can put them into salads, and these are actually going to be used for a special purpose. And I'm going to make another video once these are pressed showing them how showing you guys how we can eat these um, we also grow them because they have different purposes uh, violets you know flowers in general obviously attract our pollinators nasturtium are important because they um, help control white fly population they actually have a pretty smell too marigolds are good um, for attracting ladybugs which eat all of the aphids so I took um, <laughs> I took my whole kids curriculum book and I put it down and I put a piece of parchment paper and parchment paper we usually use for cooking um, then I put all of my flowers on it's a little wet because I, I had to clean my flowers really really good so make sure you clean your flowers if you're ever gonna eat them if you were just gonna press them for bookmarks or for art projects you didn't have to you wouldn't have to clean them if you didn't want to but I cleaned mine's really good some of them I pulled apart and some of the flowers are left intact, so that's up to you. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another piece of parchment paper and I'm gonna lay it on top, like this. Um, then I'm gonna take another really heavy book. I'm gonna use my Ina in Schools curriculum because it's really heavy. See, another great way to use your curriculum for all my fellow teachers. And I'm putting that on top. The reason why I'm put doing that is because I'm just gonna smash my flowers. Um, this is going to make it really flat and it's going to preserve my flowers so I could use them for other projects. Like I said, I could use them for art projects, I can use them for, um, for bookmarks, and I can also use them for different kinds of edible projects. And the reason why you want to press flowers is because it preserves their color. If I didn't press them, a couple of things would happen. They would wilt and they would curl up and they would lose their color. So pressing them is, is important because it really does preserve them. So that's all for now. I will revisit this project probably in another day or a couple days when the flowers are done pressing. See you later, navigators.